I started when I was in Japan. Um, I was studying Japanese before, and uh, I, I, um, uh, I actually had a um, classmate who was with an agent in Japan, and uh, she, she recommended me to join uh, a talent agent too in Japan, and it always was kind of a, a dream uh, to try modeling and acting. So I, um, I just um, signed up with that agent and I did some workshops and took classes in both um, posing and walking for the modeling part, but also for uh, acting classes. And um, I just started auditioning as much as I could and then things slowly started rolling and I, I uh, got into it. Uh, well, I was always in. Uh, I I really love video games, and I've always played video games as a as a child. Um, but uh, I got involved into working on Metal Gear Solid. Um, just uh, it happened to be in the right place at the right time. Uh, I got a call for an audition at uh, in, for Ko uh, Kojima Productions. It was a yet-to-be-announced game, and so I didn't know at the time what game it was for. And um, I just decided to audition, of course, because that sounded really exciting to me. Uh, I, I've always liked story-driven games. Um, just I like to be taken into a uh, fantasy world, so um, from a young age I really loved Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorites. Uh, but also when I was even uh, smaller, I, uh, I loved Pokemon. I used to play Pokemon Red on the Game Boy and uh, afterwards Yellow and Silver and I was really into it. Um, so I guess I could say I really like RPGs. But I, I've played a lot of different games. Uh, I like platformers. Um, I used to play uh, a lot of Super Mario <laughs> on the NES and Super NES. But yeah, I, I like all kinds of games. Um, actually, I, no, it doesn't feel very different. Um, but, well, of course, the things that are very different is that you're wearing a, wearing a motion capture suit with all the dots on it, so... Um, and there's nothing around you, you have to imagine everything. And, uh, well, that's, that's the hard part, I guess. You have to have an Im imagination, but it's a lot of fun. Well, I, I was very happy with the character. It was, I never heard of a character like, like it. It was very unique and um, also a sad story, but she's a very powerful being. And yeah, I, I really, I, I was really happy to portray her. I know there's been so there has been so much speculation. Um, I was just so uh, it's been so much fun. Um, I have really friendly relationships, me and my management with with uh, Mr. Kojima, and um, I know like Mr. Kojima really likes like teasing uh, the fans and um, making you know the speculation is just part of the fun. Um, um, yeah, but I do have to say it was, we have kind of been joking around, and um, I, it's. Uh, I know, like at one time I posted this photo uh, with the poster of Matt Mickelson, but it's also I'm just a big fan of Matt Matt Mickelson, so um, I, no, I'm I'm actually um, I'm I'm not involved at this moment. Well, uh, I, I have some uh, friends uh, working at Gorilla Studios and I, I know it's a great studio. Um, I'm, I'm very proud of them actually as uh, they're, they're a Dutch yes. video game developer and um, I think they're doing great. So I'd, I'd love to work with them.
Well, um, I'm still planning to to work in a wide field, so I'm uh, I'm also still voice acting. So um, that's what I will be doing. I will uh, be voicing uh, a character called Faye in in an uh, animated film called uh, Implosion Zero Day. So that's still coming up, and uh, yeah, well, I'm also still working on the film Transit 17. Uh, so I, I'll be I'll be working in, in well in film and and still video game or animation and planning to to just uh, keep the wide field of work. <laughs>